we got yet another mystery box. Yes, hello all and welcome indeed to another mystery box opening and the third different box I have now bought from HMV. Yes, we had the wide yellow pop culture one first. I have had one that's the same size as this, which was a blue knockout box. And now we've got the kids amazing mystery fun box. Now, I don't know if this one comes in another color as when I went into the shop, they only had the red one. Now the pop culture ones, the big yellow wide one that I had came in two alternative colors. Your previous one, the knockout box, which I bought a blue one, I've also did come in a red one, which guaranteed not getting the same items in each. Now, I might get another one of those because the comment section has asked, and if the comment section asks and I kind of don't need much convincing, then the red knockout box may well happen. But for now, I thought I'd get another mystery box, but go for the different one, and the different one being the Kids Amazing Mystery Fun Box. Now, the others guarantee at least five items, this one just says five random TV and movie gifts in every box. So looks like we're only getting five items in this because it doesn't say at least five items. And it puts a price on there for just $9.99. But we can do a full 12 here. It's literally the same on all four sides here. There is nothing about a minimum value. So it doesn't say minimum guarantee value of $24.99. So basically we're buying five kids items from TV and movies for just £9.99. So... It's whether we're going to see if the items in here are of any quality. And basically, they just need to be worth at least a tenner, really. Just get your money's worth. So, obviously, it would be nice if we got a little more. So, in the interest of fairness, I'm going to be judging this as if I was offering it to a child as a present. And if I would be happy for them to have it, shall we say. It's of quality that I think is good enough for them. Right, so I think with that, we've got the old trusty rusty knife on standby. And we're going to split this box open without cutting our fingers. Have we done it? No, we've just tickled the surface there. That's a bit stupid, wasn't it? There we go. Just just hack at it, Rob. Just hack at it. Okay, we are in. We are in, I believe. Put the knife away. Right, so weight test. Now, there's a little bit of weight to it, but I don't think there's a mug in it. And after the last box, I don't think I want another mug. But uh, no, no, be cool if there is a mug. I do like a themed mug. It does look like we've got a mug, and unfortunately, I can see the word on the top there. Got to remember, I am aiming at kids, or this is aimed at kids, so if they like trolls, they've got a trolls mug. Now, do you know what? When I was last, well, when I was in HMV buying this box, I decided to have a look at the mugs and see what the recommended retail price of them were. And they were simply listed as white mugs, $7.99, black mugs, $8.99, guess they're using a bit more paint. And I think the heat changing ones were $9.99, they were a little bit more. So, yeah, we've got a Trolls mug. I mean, it's a nice quality mug, I suppose. But again, I say this is a kid's box, so it's not actually aimed at me. So. You know, if I gave this box to a boy, I don't think he would be happy with the trolls, but perhaps a young girl with, of, of the age that this is aimed at, this would be their bag. But, um, yeah, it's a trolls mug, I was going to say. I've got, I've, got, I've got to bear in mind, it's not for an adult, and I am I am one, believe it or not. So there we go. Nothing special about it. Well painted, I suppose. Well finished. Nothing inside it. There's a reference to the last box I opened. So yeah, we've got a Trolls mug, which going by their pricings is £7.99. So we're only a couple of quid off, making our £10 back in stuff already. So what have we got here? This, I was say that looks like shoelaces, but it's not. Uh, we've got a pen set, Avengers 3 pen set. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because my nephew does actually like Marvels. Marvels, Marvels, it's not plural. Does like Marvel. And does like, you know, uh, obviously covers the Avengers. So he will actually like those. So that's not a bad item to get, to give a young a young boy, actually. So, yeah, he'll like those. It looks like the pens are separate to the top bits. I don't want to open it because I want to I want to give it to him like this. But do they, what, what's that all about? Are they, or are they erasers? Are they erasers? Why would they be erasers? They're pens. What the hell are they? Oh, there we go. If I'd have just read the back first, I wouldn't have had a guess. But there we go. We've got Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America all, um, yeah, well, he looks like he's about to shoot his proton cannon. Now, that's, they're charging us, and he's about to swing his ammo. That's not very nice, is it? But there we go. It's a pen badge. So, yeah, the idea is you get your pen out and you stick your badge on the sign. I suppose you can mix and match. You don't have to have red on red. You don't have to have white on what is looking like silver, and you don't have to have blue on blue. You can mess them around to your heart's content. Okay, so what is this 
cloth item. Oh, it's a drawstring bag by the looks of it. It's a drawstring bag with what looks like the Ghostbusters proton pack on the bag. I, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to get of this in camera shot in one hit, so please, please bear with. All right, well, there we go. That's cool for what it is. I mean, that's cool for what it is. I, do you know, the funny thing about it is I do use a drawstring bag to go to work in. However, as an adult, I would be a little bit embarrassed to be wearing that going to work. I will stick with my retro gaming ones. But a child that likes Ghostbusters, that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. He'll like that. I suppose it could do like a PE bag, can't it? I suppose that's what that could be used at. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a bad idea. So, do you know what? Is, do you know what? It could be like a mixture of stuff for both. So if we were giving stuff to a boy and a girl out of this box, I mean, to be honest with you, there are many girls that are fans of Marvel stuff as there are boys, so I'm not going to be sexist here. I'm also actually going to put that in the middle because I say I have a niece and a nephew and they both like Marvel. So that one is pretty much going in the middle and they can have a pen each and maybe I can have one. Why not? Right, what is item number four then? Back to front, here comes the big reveal. Is it a loot crate exclusive? Oh, it's four magnets. Four magnets of boom. Oh, turtles. Oh, look, one for me. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's that's pretty cool. I must admit, I I live in a, in a rented accommodation and my fridge is integrated, so I can't put them on my fridge. But these little bad boys can go around the washing machine door, one in each corner, can't they? But uh, I like that. I like that. I was gonna say a uh, child would like that as well. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I like that. Do you know what? This is actually probably better than the blue knockout mystery box already with a mug I don't like. Even though it's not for me. Or even aimed at me. And uh, we've still got an item left. So what is that last item? I like that. I like that. You're going on my washing machine very shortly. And we've got a small rectangular box. Sorry, I'm having a, having a play with it just off screen. That sounds wrong. Um, I can see Star Wars. Happy Families. Oh, right. Happy Families. Four cards. Four card games. I thought we said four cards in one. Then. I thought, how is that even possible? Four card games in one. So there we go. You can play Happy Families with a deck of cards. And, and my niece and nephew both like Star Wars. And if they don't stop, you know, if they don't argue with each other, they can actually play this for a prolonged amount of time. Yeah, that, that's actually really cool. I say that's that will fit them down to a T. That's exactly where that's going. They can have that. In fact, they can probably have most of this stuff. I think, yeah. I think they can share that. Nephew can have that. Niece, and uh, she's a bit too old for that now. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Hello, eBay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But uh, yeah, the magnets. No, yeah, magnets are for Uncle Rob, though. He's having those. But that was more impressive than the blue knockout box. That was much more impressive than the blue knockout box. I think, bear in mind I already priced up the mug. I don't know if this was meant to have £25 worth of value in it. I feel like this had more value than the blue knockout box. That, that, I'll go as far to say far, as far to say that. I really will. But there we go. Pens are cool. Oh, can't get over that. Can't get over that. So, yeah. I think I might well be going to get a red knockout box. As I say, I mean... Comment section below, what do you think of this box? Do you like this box? What's your favourite item from the box? You know, which item do you think is the best if you're not picking for yourself? You know, this, yeah, I'm I'm quietly pleased with this. This is much, much, I was going to say, I was, again, the knockout box was a fail, and I was thinking, oh, God, this looks very similar in, in its appearance. This is going to be a fail as well, and I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. I'm also looking at perhaps doing more mystery box stuff in the future as well. I said in the last video... If people enjoy the way I do this, because obviously YouTube is abundant with videos, you know, to do with people unboxings, you know, if enough people like me doing this and are entertained by me doing this, then I might look into a subscription box, something like Zabby or something like that, even though I've seen that sort of stuff in the past and it can be pretty much on par for what you're paying for and then it's down to whether you like it or not. But who knows? But who knows? So, yes... Thank you for my turtles magnets, and I do you know I'm really pleased with that because I know the parent will love that and can play the game together. I'm really, actually, really pleased with that. And as I say, it's just a shame the, the mug was trolls, to be honest with you, because there are some things that are aimed at kids, you know, that adults can still like and watch. I mean, if that was a Toy Story mug, 
that could be for kids and it would most certainly be for me i'd have been all over that would have loved the toy story mug but anyway ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages i think this just leaves me to wrap this video up so thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please do smash a thumbs up that would be awesome subscribe if you're new and all of that jazz but finally and finally as always please do take care Cowabunga, dude. Loot crate exclusive, my ass.